when I initially went to pick this dresser up for Jamie, she's like, oh, go pick this dresser up. I bought it for $50. I got there. I'm like, that's a nice thing. He said that I spent too much money for it, and I'm like, hey, we're gonna ask the people. So first question of the day, did I spend too much money for this dresser? It's 50 bucks, it has all the hardware, great lines, not real wood, so. So it's MDF. If you're the wood police, don't tell us not to paint it, because it's not real wood, so it's okay. It's also not really antique, but the, the shape is good, and the handles are good. But if it's tarnished silver, you don't paint that. That's right, but you can paint any kind of dresser you want. Piece is pretty clean, not anything gross on it. Just got it dusted because it's been in the garage. So I know y'all are shocked that our garage is dirty. And then I do love the hardware, the metallic aged look. So I'm just gonna take that off. Sometimes I leave it on and then we'll get to starting on our base coat. While we carry this, sing the song of my people. I love painting in the kitchen. The song of your people. It's the best place to paint your furniture. Oh, here we go. What's up? All right, pulling the hardware off because we're not going to paint the hardware, right? At least not right now. Not right now, maybe <laughs> later. This is actually pretty well made, but I want to just show you. It's got essence of wood around where the drawers go. There's the slider is wood. This piece right here. That piece up there is wood. I think this frame for the drawer is wood. That's about it. It's kind of like those drinks where it's mostly water with bubbles and they put a little bit of flavor in it and they don't really taste good, mm -hmm. but they look pretty. That's this dresser. First coat is DIY's White Swan. I'm gonna use a smooth talker. This is just the base coat. Oops. I flung some paint. You might want to wipe that off. What? That's a lot of paint. Well, the paint was kind of thick, so I had to add water to it. You added a lot of water. I added maybe a little much water, so it's kind of not as thick as DIY, <laughs> as DIY normally is, but it's okay. I'll try to be careful. It has essence of white swan on the paper. <laughs> essence of white swan on the dresser. So we found that uh, white looks best under the paper to make it bright. So we're just doing a base coat. Yeah, it doesn't have to be pretty. It's just going on here and, uh, you know, even if you were painting this, get the paint on, make the second coat look good. Yeah, you just get, get the paint on there. That's like... Well, it's slick MDF. Like, it's not going to be pretty on the first coat. It's and this is not the color of the dresser. So if you're watching thinking the dresser is going to be white, you're wrong. <laughs> Next step is texture. And this time, we're going to do texture on the front and the sides, a little bit on the top. But then we're going to put decoupage over the texture. I've never done it before but I think it's gonna be cool. So we're gonna start with the base color, which is the white swan with some salt wash. Then we're gonna add a little black dress and make it a little bit gray in some of the areas. And then we'll be ready for the next step, which is decoupage and milk paint. I don't want it to be like super thick because I'm gonna be going over the top of it with the decoupage paper. So I'm gonna go slow uh, adding the salt wash. I like to use the insider when I'm doing salt wash. I don't know why, I just feel like it pounces really good. All right, here comes texture. When we were in, let's see, where was it? Round top, I saw the most beautiful French Kirby dresser with this yellow paper on it and I thought it was really pretty. But then I also saw a lot of dressers that had like old world texture and chippy but lots of curves. And so that's kind of my inspiration for this piece. And the color scheme is just kind of something that I've thought about, you know, in my mind for a while. Some things I see in real life and some things I just imagine. I'm gonna make some gray here with some little black dress. A lot of people ask me like, what are the colors that you, that you would recommend getting um, to start with? And I feel like if you have white and black and then some basic colors, you can really mix and match and make whatever shades you need, especially if you're doing like a multi-layer piece. It's better to do this than to buy 800 colors. I feel like you might need some more salt wash in that. Oh yeah. yeah. Okay, I'm coming back with the gray. I feel like you're being random, but you're also not being random right now. Little bunny foo-foo hopping through the forest, scooping up the 
still nice. That one? Mm -hmm. It's fine. It's totally random. Well, I'm actually trying to not get it too much on where the decoupage paper is gonna be because I want that to be mostly white. That's probably why you're seeing patterns when you normally don't. When you're short and you can't reach the top of things when they're up on top of the island. You built this island sturdy, right? Oh yeah, it's made for dancing on. In my pajamas? Uh-huh. All right. It is time for decoupage paper. This is our all over 30 by 20 inches, and we call it the purple vintage. Also know that when you're ordering paper, because of the careful process of dye lots, each lot can vary significantly. So make sure before you get started that all your paper works the way that you want it to. All right, so you want to put a nice even coat of patina on here and then you're ready for the paper. You want to use plenty of liquid patina, especially with this technique where you're going over texture because you really want it to stick well. I've got some liquid patina on my brush here, and this is already pretty wet, and I'm just gonna use it to kind of give me an organic tear right there. You could do water too. I learned this trick from Mara LeFay from Vintage Retail Therapy by Mara. We'll drop her link below. She's awesome. You should definitely check out her videos and her channel. One drawer down, drawer number two. Got that ripped edge there. Just gonna lay it down. Then right back over the top. And this will dry clear. It looks like there's some streaks and bubbles. It does have some wrinkles. The, uh, the salt wash underneath is going to add to that, which I feel like we're gonna get a really fun texture. Okay, right here on the corner of the drawer, I've got this little piece that's kind of hanging over. I'm just going to take one of these organically torn edges, layer that up on there, get some more of the liquid patina. That's why you don't throw your scraps away. Okay, I've got to do the same thing on the other side, so I'm going to carefully rip this. Next step is gonna be adding the milk paint. I push the drawers in so that way I can paint this ledge and also get a little bit of paint on top of the decoupage paper. So normally I like to pick an accent color in the paper to pull through the rest of the piece, but I really wanted to do purple, so we went with plumberry. You can see that plumberry really plays on all the lighter shades of purple, and I plan on doing some white wax, so I think the combination is gonna be really pretty. You do one part paint to one part warm water. So you can mix it up with a fork or immersion blender or a whisk. An immersion blender is gonna give you your best consistency. Pick this up for five bucks at the thrift store. I ran out of memory on my phone and I thought that we filmed this whole thing of us painting this plumberry, but I didn't. So you just have to imagine that we did. We have our orbital sander and 220 sandpaper. It makes quick work of sanding. You can also do it by hand. It'll just take longer. What the salt wash did is it made bumps and now we're sanding over it and smoothing it out and it's giving it aged old texture. Okay, so you can hear Jamie sanding those other drawers out there. What I'm gonna do is just now that we've got it sanded, one more coat of the liquid patina and this is the crystal clear chandelier. We're just gonna put it right on there and that's going to really make sure that that paper stays on there for a good, good long time. So we love chipping, right? But this is like more chipping than I had anticipated and I don't love so much it. So I'm gonna sand it smooth. Zeb's gonna go inside and mix me up some plumberry with bond. Luckily, we have a little bit left in the bottom of our pint. And we'll just give this another coat with some bond. Never 
mind, Zeb and I decided we like the chipping. I'm gonna throw some white wax on here and that'll kind of dull down that finish there. And I think it's gonna be good because we're trying to make it look like an old aged worn piece. The next step is white wax. I'm just gonna use DIY white wax, work a little bit at a time, get it on there and then rub it off. You wanna work in small areas and then rub it back off and then when you let it sit 24 hours, you can come back and buff it and then it's gonna get down in all the nooks and crannies so you'll be able to wipe it back off the paint. If you let it sit too long, it makes it really hard to get off the paint. All right, so I am the follow behind and wipe it bad guy. That way we can get this done faster. If you're doing it by yourself, just work in small sections, same result. When I'm working on a big section, I like to wax in one direction and not crazy. That kind of gives a little bit more uniformity to my wax. You can see it's getting down in all the crackle from the milk paint. You hadn't done up there. No, <laughs> I'd only wax the bottom. I was just going for it. <laughs> it's all right. To make these drawers match, we're gonna add some white wax. We've already got patina on there, which is plenty of finish. This is just more for look, so that way it doesn't look so much different than the body of the dresser. All right, Jamie's finishing doing some buffing. We're gonna get the hardware back on. We had contemplated maybe doing some pennies from heaven, which is a DIY copper patina, but we like the way it looks, so we're just gonna leave these alone. We need to white wax those other doors. So we've decided that we're going to start putting these up on our home website, jrvhome.com, when we do the videos. So that way, if you guys would like to purchase these, they're there. But I thought if you guys buy them, you probably might want us to sign them. So Steph and I are going to sign the back. Your turn. signatures look the same. It's like we've been together 20 years. <laughs> if you guys make videos and sell furniture, I encourage you guys to sign your pieces and let the people that watch your videos know that they're for sale. So what do you think, Zeb? Was it worth the $50? $50 MDF dresser. We'll call it a dresser. It's, Essence of wood. It would be a really, really big nightstand. So we'll put it in the dresser category. It needed zero repairs. All the drawers slide. It's super solid, had all the hardware. I think it was a really great price. We're going to list it on the website and I'm going to include shipping to the 48 continuous states in there. And then locally it will be less because we won't have shipping included in our price. You're going to drop all the links. I'll put the links in. Yeah, I'll do that for you guys. So check that description box so you can see all the links. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to Jane Marie Vintage for more DIY. Love you guys.